Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have another competitor. Honda 7000. We're going to put it up against the Yamaha 6300. These are two 240 volts. Okay, so they both put out 240 volts. Pure sine wave. This one over here has a 5.1 gallon tank. This one has a 4.5 gallon tank. You get 16 hours right at 13.3 hours on the yamaha all right these two are really close on the honda you have 5.1 gallons on the yamaha you have 4.5 gallons on this one 16 hours this guy over here 13.3 hours they both pure sine wave they both put out 240 volts yamaha is 0.32 gallons per hour the honda is 0.34 so <laughs> this is going to be really close guys um this could not be a better matchup between the Honda and the Yamaha. You have 5,500 uh, running, 5,500 running. The starting's a little off. This one's 7,000. This one's 6,300. You know, the runnings is the real important. That's what you need to pay attention to, how much power you have at your disposal. The Yamaha has a 357cc engine. The Honda has a 389cc engine. So it just keeps getting closer and closer. The smaller engine is going to be a little bit more fuel efficient. The, the Honda has a bigger engine, but it has fuel injection. So carburetor versus fuel injection. Small engine versus a larger engine. The Honda has 52 dBs, so it's quieter. The, the Yamaha has 58 dBs, so it's a little louder, not that, that much, just six. You probably can't pick that up with your air. Um, just listening to it. Guys, let's get this test. Remember, we're going to put 32 ounces of fuel because I don't want to be here all day watching these two gas sippers. You know, let's see who's king. Yamaha versus Honda. Let's see which one is king when it comes to fuel efficiency. Let's get the test started, guys. First thing we're going to do is put 32 ounces in the Honda. Both bone dry, absolutely no gas. Bone dry. Let's put 32 ounces and see what we get. Okay, guys, I'm going to be measuring 16 ounces twice so we can get our uh, 32 ounces. We can get this test on its way, okay? Let's get this measured. All right, 16 ounces. We're going to do that twice and get the tanks filled up. Actually, 32 in the Honda, 32 in the Yamaha. Okay, come over here. First one for the Honda. Okay, guys, we just measured the second 32 for the Honda. And go ahead and pull that in. Okay, guys, the first 16 for that Yamaha. Let's pour that in. Second 16 for the Yamaha. All right, Yamaha's fueled up, Honda's fueled up. Let's see which one gets the best fuel economy. might help if I turn the fuel on. Let's, let's get that gas in there for a little bit. There you go. 
Now, let's go right to the Honda. And like I told you, the fuel injection always starts right up. This thing was completely out of gas and it fires up in one start. The Yamaha had to get it primed. Lights are on. I'm hitting the timer right from the go. So what we'll do is right when, whichever one runs out first, we'll just check the time. These two guys are running over here and it's so quiet. If I just walk down 30 feet away, I probably would not hear these two generators running, pulling a thousand watts. Each one's pulling a thousand watts. This one doesn't have a gauge, so I can't show it. But if I come over here, you'll see the Honda's pulling a thousand watts. We're going to find out who's uh, efficiency king today. The Honda or the Yamaha. A little bigger engine, a little smaller engine, fuel, in, fuel injection over here, carburetor. This one has the uh, bigger gas tank. This one has a smaller gas tank, but this one has a smaller gallons per hour usage than the Honda. So it keeps going back and forth. Which one's going to be more fuel efficient with 32 ounces of gas in the tank? Another fun fact about the Honda is forced air cooled. So when you put your hands right here, you can feel all that air coming out. That's actually a forced air cooled that's going to, around the engine and pushing all that hot air out. The Yamaha is the exact same thing. If you come over here on the exhaust side, you can feel all that air coming out of the, the Yamaha. That's forced air cooled. When you have an engine that's forced air cooled, it's going to run cooler. Okay guys, we're right on 10 minutes. One of the most important things that you guys have to do to maintain your fuel economy, besides the, the, the usual, Check your spark plugs, change your oil. If you come right here, you see the spark arrestor? You gotta make sure you clean that at least every 25 hours. Just take it out, clean it with some parts cleaner, and you should be good to go. Blow it out with the air compressor. Which one's gonna run out first? And how much longer the second one's gonna go? That's what we need to see. Because remember, the power horse got right about i think it was 40 minutes and ran out and the honda went 12 minutes past that so i really want to see which one goes past the other one 32 ounces of gas and you're pulling a thousand watts like it's nothing just barely idling we're just past 40 minutes guys and yamaha hasn't shown any sign of giving up the honda has not shown any sign of giving up test is still going strong okay I'm, I'm hearing something the Yamaha is surging at 45 minutes the Yamaha is surging at 45 minutes guys Something's happening. Still putting out power. They're both surging. They're both surging. Which one's going to turn off first? You hear that? Uh-oh. It's still, still holding on. The Yamaha just turned off, guys, right at 40, 46 minutes, 45 seconds. Yamaha shut off. The Honda is still going. The Honda is still going at exactly the same time as the last time. Only the Honda is being powered. Only the Honda is running. Let's see how much longer. So he, powered, he shut off right at 46 minutes. Let's see what this one does. Okay, so this test, this test just turned into a solo run again. The Honda just blowing away the Yamaha. I mean, the Yamaha got right at 
45, 46 minutes. We're going on 50 minutes now. Let's see what if, let's see if it can pull the exact same time it did with the Power Horse 7500. Okay guys, there we go. Exact same time, 50 minutes. The Honda just ran out. The Honda just beat the Yamaha in a fuel efficiency test. Guys, thanks for watching this video. You see it here. The Honda is just the king of generators. Fuel efficiency, it has to be with the fuel injectors. That's the only thing I can think. And it has a bigger engine than the Yamaha, and it still pulled it off. 50 minutes on 32 ounces of gas. Did it again. We're going to have to keep testing this. Maybe we should do a smaller generator yet because this thing is fuel efficient like crazy. 50 minutes on 32 ounces of gas pulling a thousand watts. The Yamaha got 46 minutes. All right, right at 46 minutes. And this one just went, you know, four minutes more. So it's not that much. They pretty much right on par where they need to be with all the specs. Okay, guys, if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. And guys, I appreciate you watching my videos every time. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.